Hey guys, just finished watching Legion, Season uh, 1, Chapter 2. Um, this episode was pretty interesting. It was a lot more easier to follow uh, than the first episode, which was just kind of all, all, all over the place in a, in a good way. Um, and again, this episode is still, I'm still kind of confused. I don't know how to talk about this or even how to talk about this show at all. Um, or even how to review it just because it's so, it's just so confusing and there's so much going on. Um, although this is a little bit more easier to follow. It's easier to follow that, you know, now that he's out and it seems like he's in the real world. Um, and now he's just trying to figure out, uh, they're trying to teach him his powers and stuff. And I kind of like that idea. And I kind of like the idea of, um, you know, that Charles Xavier is his father and stuff. And that his father's face was darkened and stuff. And I was thinking about throughout this episode, I was like, why is his father's face just dis uh, discovered, uh, like covered? And they don't talk about that. And I'm like, and then I remembered, oh yeah, Charles Xavier is his father. Although they never mentioned that and never even hinted that or never even show him in a wheelchair or anything that even h hints, uh, to anyone who doesn't know that he's, um, you know, that he's part of the X-Men or anything like that, or part of Charles Xavier's, uh, Charles Xavier's son from the comics. Um, other than, you know, the whole, uh, so, uh, you know, FX when in association with Marvel Studios or Marvel Productions, something like that, at the beginning of the show, if you missed that part, you have no idea that this is even, uh, you know, Marvel-related or even X-Men-related or anything like that, so... And definitely is interesting to see and interesting to see where they go with this, you know, having his father's face kind of blackened. Um, I'm hoping that maybe for like the last episode, episode 8, maybe they got Patrick Stewart to play uh, his father for somehow. Uh, maybe eventually he learns how to, one of the last things he does is he learns how to undarken his father's uh, face and his memory and stuff like that. And we find out it's other Patrick Stewart or, or James McAvoy, I think that would be cool. I mean, if they got it for like a last scene or like something like that, just one scene. In like the last episode, I think it would be cool if they could get them. Um, I think that would be pretty interesting to see uh, how they do something like that, or if they we ever get to see um, whoever's his father, uh, Charles Xavier, in this um, TV show. So it's definitely interesting to see where things go with this. That I kind of like having, <clears throat> excuse me, Audrey Plaza's character in in this episode. It was kind of interesting seeing um her and like having her in his mind and stuff although kind of confusing is you know i know from the comics like i looked it up on on like the marvel wiki wiki and stuff and he has like 60 different uh you know uh personalities or so inside of his head and they each have different powers and stuff like that so uh it's gonna be interesting to see who we're gonna find out who like when we start seeing all those different personalities i mean we've seen like, i feel like we're seeing like two or three right now uh unless everyone we're ever meeting in this are all actually people in his head and this is all in his head, which could be a thing. Um, which I kind of don't hope that they do that, but at the same time, I don't know. I think if the way they would do that, it would be really interesting rather than just kind of, it wasn't all a waste and didn't happen. But I think if it, I think it would definitely be interesting to see where things go with this. Um, if it does turn out to be all within his head, uh, I feel like, I hope there's another twist to it more than just kind of, it didn't happen and it was all in his head. He's still just in the, in the asylum. I think there needs to be more to it than that. I think I would just find that a little bit kind of a, uh, a waste if they just kind of make it all within his head um but doing another twist on that hopefully some of it mostly this is real because i kind of like it um i kind of thought that this uh, older lady that's you know uh all in white and stuff i thought that she was maybe uh his mother um but i guess according to his memories he's she's not his mother or something like that or she would have said something or maybe there's been some sort of thing or something that she was really older than him i don't know this just it's definitely gonna be interesting to see where things go with this um, and I'd like to see if this, uh, at this place, since there was, uh, there's also mention of time travel in this, so that would be cool if we actually get to go back in time versus, you know, seeing his memories versus what actually happened if we do go back in time. Uh, there was, like, an announcement in this episode over, uh, the intercom something saying that the time travel clo uh, class was, uh, cancelled or something, so, um, or it was, you know, pushed back for, t for that day. But, um... So it's gonna be interesting to see where we where we go and if we do go uh, back in time like that, um, and see where things continue on from here. But also, I'd like to see if this is all taking place in the world. Would like to see them set up, uh, or at least just show different uh, mutants. You know, maybe some obscure uh, X Men characters that have really bizarre powers. Like you know, someone like I don't know, more from uh, the X Men the '90s X Men TV show. That would be someone could be cool. 
um, or even all kinds of some of the you know obscure New Mutants X Force X Factor characters would be cool to see um, in this uh, show, even if we just see them in the background or something, just to show. Uh, just to show something uh, connecting to the comic books other than the fact that his name is Legion and he's da David Heller. Although, do they ever call him Legion in this? I don't think they do. Um, but other than David Heller, you know, that's the only reference from the comic book so far that I have noticed. Uh, although I haven't read much of, uh, you know, any of the uh, X-Men uh, Legion comics. But uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see where, guys, where things go with this. And then next, the episode for next week looks kind of interesting with him trying to decide to go see his... Um, his sister and trying to you know get more powerful before uh, and see how they're going to interrogate her and stuff like that so it's definitely interesting to see and i feel like him uh, building up his power and i definitely can't wait to see where he come kind of goes with this and uh how long it takes him to kind of at least get his one of his powers but uh, you know control of something you know where it looks like he kind of accidentally just dis discovered his you know mind reading discovering type thing Kind of like what uh, Charles is able to do with Cerebro, but he's able to do it without Cerebro, so that's going to be cool. And if they do bring in Cerebro, uh, how does that going to inf uh, impact, uh, you know, enhance his power, which is already pretty high and stuff like that. So it's going to be cool to see where things go with that. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys, about this episode. There's so much to talk about. Um, and uh, what was your favorite part? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace.